Alan for taking time today to help us uh, demo the invoice processing um, use case. So, okay. uh, so we have a few invoice process invoices out there. I can see. Um, so, can you open one of them? We'll see what they look like. So that's great. Uh, so we'll take all these invoices and we will process them. So I created a simple workflow here that creates a data table with uh, a couple of the main fields that you would want from an invoice. So we're not going to bother with each of the different lines and the different invoices, but this solution can also you know, grab all the data from the different lines on an invoice uh, without any issues. So, so the main idea is that I save the, the invoices to a folder in my temp folder. Okay. And I'll grab the name of that file and I will then run another workflow that once it's done will give me back a result object that contains all the information from that invoice. And out of that, I will then pick the, the key information that we're interested in, you know, like total base amount and who was it from and to and, and so on. And we will add that to an Excel spreadsheet so we can see what is going on. Okay, perfect. So, so the workflow that, that processes the invoice, uh, what it does is that it signs into Rossum with my username and password, it gets a key, and it then uploads the file to a queue. And that queue has been pre-set up. Actually, let's, let's, uh, let's have a look at that, because that's quite interesting. So, so this is the web interface for Rossum, which is one of the many uh, invoice uh, scanning solutions out there. And what is interesting about Rossum is that you can create different queues for different types of invoices. So in this case, we have a queue for, that's specialized in invoices from the, e, the EU. Okay. And, and when, we, when we look at the settings for that queue, we can, where did it go? Uh, yeah. So, so what we can do is we can first set up which kind of fields from the invoices are we interested in. Mm -hmm. And this is important when we talk about automating the invoices afterwards because we need some kind of uh, confidence in that we have all the things that is needed in order to process this invoice. So that is why you might set up different queues. But, but the main idea is uh, we picked a couple of things for, for this demo that, that we think is relevant for the invoices. Um, and, and these are the fields that we selected. So once we have that, um, we have the option to automate the queue. So once we have a certain level of confidence in the information that Rossum extracted from that invoice, it can automatically you know, accept that invoice as properly scanned. And then the automation inside the robot is also fully automatic. But what we're gonna see now is uh, a process where it is not completely confident and therefore we need to go in and improve some of the invoices. Uh, and there you can also see how we map different fields from an invoice uh, when, when doing the scanning. Okay. So what happens is we upload the file mm -hmm. and we then get the status of that file. And if the status was not that it was automatically accepted, we then go into a waiting state and, and wait for the file to, to be in the state exported, which means it was scanned and approved and everything was ready. And at the same time, we open the browser with a UL to that specific invoice. So we can now actually go in actively fix up that invoice. And once we're done, we send the result back. So that will look something like this. So this will now take each one of the files one at a time and it will upload it to Rossum. And as you can see, we can now see it processing that specific invoice. Mm -hmm. so, so the main idea is that it didn't have 100% confidence in this invoice. So, so what we can see is it did find some of the fields, but there's a couple of fields that it didn't find. So if we go to the vendor part, it thinks that the vendor is here, but it's not sure. So I can now decide that, yes, that's the vendor. And same thing with the customer. I can go in here and say, yes, this is the customer. This is where it is. 
And then when I click confirm, if I had a paid account, this will now be used for training on these kind of invoices. So the next time it see an invoice in this format, it will know this is where the fields are. Right, right. So once I confirm this, I, it now updates my Excel spreadsheet with the information from that specific invoice, and it will then continue on to the next invoice. Okay. So visual tracking and slow motion. So I'm going to run this. So this will now go through the list of folders, uh, files in the folder. It will then call the other workflow. And over here, it is now waiting on my breakpoint. So now if I say visual tracking and slow motion, this will now continue on on its route. And it uploads the file, gets the status, open the browser, and then it waits on the file status to go to export it. Because this is a trial account, it, it will not learn from me cheating it where the different fields are. Right. So I will have to manually go through each invoice and tell it where the customer is because, uh, oh yeah, of it's a, inside an Excel file. Um, you would probably put this into a, your ERP system or, 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 or whatever it is that you're, you're trying to achieve with this invoice scanning. Um, you probably also want to uh, grab the lines. Uh, actually, that might be interesting. Let's um, let's show you what it's actually getting. So I'm going to set a breakpoint here, okay. and I'm going to confirm this and say OK. So if we look at this, this is the result that I'm getting back from Brossom. Mm -hmm. And if you look in here, you can see all the data, and and all the data also includes all the items that it found. So we can actually find each line inside the invoice as part of this all data field uh, inside the result. Um, yeah. And, and that, this, this is the reason you wanna use a real invoice scanning solution when you're scanning invoices because Invoices looks very, very differently. Not everyone puts tags on each line. Um, people have different places where they place the, 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 uh, the vendor and the customer and the payment information and, and all of that. So, so that, 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 that's, that, that's pretty good. And we are using, like you said, a cloud provider like Rosum. Uh, we can use uh, Microsoft Extract. We can use, uh, I'm sorry, Microsoft. Extract. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you could easily use Appy. Or or, um, or 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 a paper flow or I mean there's there's lots of, of different uh, providers that, that that does this yes yeah and the great thing is that um, uh, you know the uh, issuers of the world the prices are keeping on decreasing um, and, yes. and they are also coming up with uh, invoice processing and all that so I think it will get better. Um, still, it's a bit of human and AI. Uh, I, I somehow happen to think that we'll always have a human, we should, and we should always have a human in control, uh, and then uh, let AI help uh, the people. Um, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll keep automating quite a bit of it. Uh, but uh, you know, we, we, you know, that whole autonomous range, but how much we reach, we don't know for now. Um, but yeah, I think that that's good. That's good. That's a good demo. Uh, 